Hi everyone. This question here is asking us to basically evaluate uh, using function notation here. So f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x plus 5. And then f of negative 3 is. Now I'm going to take the opportunity here to just explain. Let's talk about function notation just a little bit here. What the f stands for in function notation in this case is the rule. Okay. And the rule in this case as we see it is that we're going to take 2 times the independent variable cubed minus 3 times the independent variable plus 5. And then when we write it like this, in parentheses here after the f, we're identifying that the independent variable is x in this case. So that makes sense. So now instead of saying 2 times the independent variable cubed, we're just going to write 2 times x cubed because that's what the independent variable is and so on. Now, in this case here, what we're doing is we're replacing the x here, okay, and this is sitting where the independent variable sits. We're replacing that with negative 3. In other words, we are, we're stating that the value of the independent variable is negative 3. But the rule stays the same. So what I mean by f of negative 3 is equal to 2 times, okay, I used to say 2 times the independent variable cubed. Well, now the independent variable is negative 3. So 2 times negative 3 cubed minus 3 times the independent variable, negative 3, plus 5. And now I just need to evaluate that, okay? Well, okay, negative 3 cubed is going to be negative 27 times 2 will be negative 54. Negative negative 3 will be positive 9, and then we got the plus 5. Okay, so what do we got here? We got negative 54... Uh, plus 9 plus 5, well this is plus 14, so negative 54 plus 14, that's looking like negative 40 to me. And so the answer here would be A. Now, could I have explained that by simply saying what this means is substitute that in for X? Yeah. Yeah, I could have. But I, if, you, if you just think of it like that all the time, just, just make that equal to X, make that equal to X, Sometimes you, you lose a little bit of understanding as to what function notation is all about. Okay, you're going to see me kind of refer back to uh, f as the rule and what's inside here as the independent variable fairly frequently in our exploration of function notation.